Is it just me, or does it seem like the deep state is about to start a nuclear war in order to keep Trump from becoming president again? The globalists, the puppeteers pulling the strings of the so-called deep state, are playing their most dangerous card yet. They've spent years undermining democracy, orchestrating false flags, and manipulating world events to maintain their iron grip on power. Now, with President Donald J. Trump poised to return to office in January, they are ready to unleash the unthinkable. Nuclear war. The deep state's desperation. You see, the deep state knows time is running out. Their carefully constructed house of cards is teetering. For decades, they've wielded the military-industrial complex, manipulated the media, and infiltrated every level of government to create a world where the people are subjugated under a globalist, technocratic regime. But Trump? He's their kryptonite. His return to office represents not just a political loss, but an existential threat to their entire agenda. These unelected shadow rulers aren't just afraid of losing power. They're terrified of being exposed. Trump's second term promises to tear the veil off their operations, the trafficking networks, the backdoor deals with foreign adversaries, the collusion with big tech and big pharma, and yes, the deliberate destabilization of the world economy. If they can't stop him, they lose everything. So what do they do? They light the world on fire, figuratively and literally. The proxy war in Ukraine isn't just about territorial disputes or NATO expansion. It's a powder keg designed to escalate. Biden's decision to supply Ukraine with long-range missiles capable of hitting deep into Russian territory is no accident. This move isn't about defending democracy or supporting allies. It's a deliberate provocation. The deep state is baiting Russia into a nuclear confrontation. Why? Because a full-scale war provides the ultimate distraction. A nuclear crisis would give them the excuse to impose martial law, suspend elections, and crush dissent under the guise of national security. They'd spin it as a necessary sacrifice to save humanity while conveniently keeping Trump out of office. Don't be fooled. This is all part of their playbook. Biden as the globalist puppet. Let's be honest, Joe Biden isn't calling the shots. He's a hollow vessel, a man who can barely string a coherent sentence together. The real decisions are being made behind closed doors by a cabal of unelected officials, think tank operatives, and intelligence agency insiders. These are the same people who orchestrated Russiagate, impeached Trump twice on bogus charges, and weaponized federal agencies against their political enemies. Now, they're using Biden to push us to the brink of annihilation. By provoking Russia and escalating tensions, they're setting the stage for a manufactured crisis that could spiral into global catastrophe. The role of fear and control. Fear is the deep state's most potent weapon. They've used it to keep us compliant during the pandemic, to justify mass surveillance under the Patriot Act, and to sell endless wars in the Middle East. A nuclear crisis would be their magnum opus, a global event so horrifying that it would paralyze the masses and make them beg for government intervention. Imagine the headlines, world on the brink, nuclear war imminent, only unity can save us. They'll tell us we need to sacrifice our freedoms for the greater good. They'll push for global governance, digital IDs, and a centralized surveillance state to ensure peace. But make no mistake, it's all about control. This isn't just a geopolitical struggle, it's a spiritual war. The deep state serves a darker power, one that thrives on chaos, destruction, and the subjugation of humanity. Their ultimate goal isn't just political dominance, it's the erasure of free will and the destruction of the divine spark within each of us. Trump's rise represents a reclamation of that spark, a resurgence of the human spirit's innate drive for freedom and truth. That's why they hate him. That's why they'll stop at nothing to destroy him and us. What can we do? First and foremost, we must awaken to the reality of what's happening. Knowledge is power, and the deep state thrives in the shadows. Share this information, spread the truth, and refuse to be cowed by their fear tactics. Second, this is a battle that transcends politics. It's a fight for the soul of humanity, and we need divine intervention now more than ever. Finally, the deep state's reckless push 
toward nuclear war with Russia isn't just political. It aligns with the Bible's end times prophecy. Matthew 24 warns of wars and chaos as signs of the last days, while Revelation 13 foretells a global system of control under the guise of peace. A nuclear crisis would be the ultimate pretext to impose a one-world government and the mark of the beast. This isn't just geopolitics. It's a spiritual battle against wickedness in high places, Ephesians 6.12. But take heart, God's plan will prevail, and the darkness will not overcome the light.